I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're going to be taking a detailed look at the Fjallraven Kanken Gear Pocket, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's dive in. So it's kind of hard to ignore that this is a Konkin product just by nature of what's on the outside here with this logo. It is, you know, fairly large, takes up a good amount of this pocket, but it does have that sort of Konkin feel to it just in general. And then on top of that, it is also made with these same materials. So this is that G1000. And that's something that you're gonna find in a lot of Konkin bags. It's sort of a mix of a polyester and a cotton. This one here doesn't have the green linen wax already on it, but it is added on. So it does have like a, it has a pretty sturdy feel to it if you're familiar with the um, Konkin materials. But in general, you know, it doesn't have that sort of like waxy feel, um, but you can add that if you wanted to. So in general, uh, the material is holding up well, which is sort of expected just because we are pretty familiar with it. But there is, you know, it does collect dust. It's kind of hard to tell because it's so yellow, but it does collect dust a little bit on like the corners here. And then you can see on the back, it looks like almost um, like it's like this area. And then I think that, yeah, a little bit up in this area too. It's a little bit of like color transfer. I think it's just from a, another bag that I was testing just because it is a completely different color from this yellow. So um, it, it, that's something to keep in mind that it is gonna pick up like dust and dirt and then also potentially other types of blemishes. And then as well with this, we have these top zippers uh, or the top zipper rather, it's the only zipper on here. And it is a YKK with a nice uh, matching zipper pull. So this whole thing is pretty sleek. Um, we've got the, the little flag on the bottom here as per usual. And then on the side here is just sort of like a, a grab handle, I guess you could say. Um, it is sort of like a nylon material, but it's pretty stiff. It holds its structure really well. And then it doesn't like, if I were to just push on that, you know, I need to have like a fair amount of pressure for it to move in. So that just kind of hangs out there. I like that it's on an angle so that, you know, when you hang it, it sort of dangles very nicely instead of just being like, if, I don't know, if like if you were to have this very, very much so straight up, then it would just sort of like fall that way anyway. So this keeps it sort of like sleek looking, which is just an interesting touch, um, very thoughtful on their part. And then along the edges, there's no base or anything. So this truly is just, a straight up pocket that you can just sort of pack as you want to. So in terms of dimensions, it's about five and a half inches tall and then about 8.27 inches along the bottom. So they do, um, it is a fairly large pack. I know my hands aren't a super great size reference, but you can fit a fair amount in here. So let's take a look on the inside. Um, it truly is just a dump pocket. So on the inside here, I have tech stuff. So I have my uh, brick for charging my laptop my cable for charging my laptop, my cable for charging a phone, the brick for my phone, and then my AirPods, and that is it. So that pretty much filled up this entire thing. There was definitely room to spare. It just depends on how much you actually wanna pack it out. Cause like I mentioned, there is no base. It is gonna just sort of expand in like the meat of it here. It's not really going to expand um, like on the top or the bottom uh, to accommodate any sort of larger gear. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And then on the inside, there is a little tag here and it's like a slick material. It's like, it's like shiny, um, where you can put your name and your contact information if you do happen to lose it. Um, just kind of a nice add. I don't think it's super, super necessary, but um, great to see regardless. And then on the other side here is a huge tag. We didn't cut it out just for the sake of, you know, showing that it's there. Um, but I would definitely, you know, if I were using this long term um, to, to just cut that out, to get it out of my way. It, it wasn't like in the way, but it's just so large. Um, easy, easy fix, you know, no fault of this, this pouch itself. So like I said, this is all the stuff that I had in here, but you can also use this like if you wanted to use it for toiletries or your everyday carry, like if you want to use this as some sort of like a clutch or, you know, if you like that Fjall Raven style, that's really great for you. So um, I, I'll show you kind of a couple other things you can fit in here. So I've got a phone, and wallet and then keys as well. So phone, wallet, keys in here. It looks pretty similar to when the rest of the stuff was in here. So it does sort of just, 
have that same bulky pouchy feel and then this is great if you wanted to like attach it to the inside of your bag or the outside of your bag um, don't recommend the outside if you're keeping anything like important in there like your phone wallet and keys or travel information or even like tech but if you wanted to keep like little multi-tools or you know travel cutlery if you guys are like going on a picnic or something like that this is going to be really great for that just because it is so durable and so versatile so there you have it the fjall robin konkin gear pocket thanks for keeping it here at pack hacker your guide to smarter travel and we'll see you in the next one